Hello, and welcome to the AlphaCam 2020 What's New videos. In this short video, we're going to be discussing the enhancements we've made to our parametric rules and our constraints. One of the major improvements we've done is for ease of use. We have added the ability to generate a conditional structure. This will allow you to create complex rules that have an if and else statement capability. This will dramatically reduce the amount of individual rules that you have to create for each section machining feature of the component. As you can see, the conditional rule can also affect many different variables or many different layers in a single statement. This will also result in reduced maintenance because you won't necessarily have to generate individual rules for individual layers, individual rules for individual features. You can now have one sweeping single rule that is capable of handling a multitude of different situations and scenarios. Now, another major improvement is the ability that we have in parameters and equations. How? We are giving you the ability to set a parameter to a constant value, as well as set the value of a parameter to another parameter, or set the value of a parameter to an equation. This completely gives you all the flexibility that you need to control the features on any of your parametric parts. So let's review the functionality. So we're back here inside of AlphaCam. And what I have open is a parametric drawing of a simple cabinet side. You can see that the part is intelligent. I can change the size of the part and it will automatically redraw based on the length and it will apply additional holes. It's also intelligent in the sense that when the part is not wide enough or deep enough, it hides features that I do not necessarily want to machine. In the past, this was something that we could achieve, but it was a, a little more complicated. It required a little uh, more investment on your side when it comes to adding rules. So let's evaluate what we have now. If we go to the defined rules, in addition to the new GUI, which we presented last release, you can see that now I have a convenient way to define rules that are intelligent. For example, I have a rule by the name of hide middle holes. You can see that this rule is affecting layers. So if the depth or width of the panel, which I call dimension in the Y, is less than or equal to 400 millimeters, the truth portion of the statement happens. And what am I doing? You can see that I am ignoring most of the layers except for what I call the eight millimeter row and the five millimeter row. Just as a reminder, turning off a layer effectively turns on the machining of that feature or operation. And see, likewise, now, I can set what is the false or untrue portion of the rule. And as you can see now, I am actually turning on the eight millimeter and five millimeter. So this gave me the ability to manage a number of different layers and a number of possibilities in a single rule. There's another interesting thing over here that I'm going to show you which is I have a parameter by the name of hole depth. For example, if the thickness of my part changes, I need the depth of, of the holes of the features to change intelligently. Let's analyze what I've done with this rule. Once again, this is a conditional rule where I have the ability to make a comparison on a parameter or equation. And as you can see, I'm checking. If the thickness of my part is greater than or equal to 14 millimeters, then I want my hole depth to be directly 15 millimeters. Notice that I could have assigned another parameter or even an equation to control the depth of that feature. Likewise, if the statement is false or else, then I can set the hole depth to 10 millimeters automatically. So you can see, I basically just have two rules to control this entire model, and just my copy rules, of course, to populate the holes that I need in the center, as well 
as down the construction of the cabinet. So let's take a look again. If I change this to say 1800 and I apply, we're able to handle that particular size. If I take it back to say 900 by 350, then I am able to hide the middle row, which means we will not machine that part. And then finally, you can see that the thickness of the part also controls the depth of these features. If I change the thickness of my part to 13 millimeter, close to, to half an inch, you'll see that automatically the thickness of the part changes as well as the depth of the holes, which means that now you have a single parametric file that you can use not just across multiple sizes, but across multiple thicknesses. And this is truly something that delivers on productivity and ease of use.